Hey guys, it's ChrisLink.com again today. We got another tutorial for you. Um, been wanting to do this one for a while. It's just been a good day to pop it up. Been a busy weekend. Um, but that's a whole other story. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's been a pretty busy weekend, so we're just gonna bring some. Uh, we're gonna bring some decent tutorials for you this week. Hopefully, you know. Yeah. Anyways, we might as well pop right into this. Today we're gonna go over the SFF command syntax. There we go. The SFC command syntax. I said it wrong. My bad. Anyways, what it really is, it's a system file checker. It it's a very useful tool to use when you're like suspecting um, issues with your protected Windows files, such as like DLL files. Sometimes happens. You probably aren't going to have very many, but for some people out there, you might have some corrupt registry files or something like that, you know, somewhere that. Today we're just going to go over the scan now, um, functionalities of, functionalities of the, um, system file checkers, system file checker, and, um, just to let you guys know right here at the beginning of the video, um, depending on your OS out there, some people's might be different, so I'm, I'm just going to go over what mine's like, and, um, there's about like, I think there's about eight, or eight or more, you can correct me on that if you want in the comments on how many functions the SFC has. We're just going to go over the SFC scan now function. Anyways, I've already got a command up, but we're just going to bring this up. This is first, is you're going to want to pop command. You can type in that, or you can type like command prompt. I'm going to pop that out here because everybody's like, you had to type command prompt. Yes, that's my phony voice. Um. Yeah, you know, you can just type in CMD. Now, first things first, you're going to want to do this in administrator, so you right-click it. You can right-click and then run as administrator. Or you can do, oops, or you can, like, let's get that up again. You, or you can just highlight it and just do, like, Control, Shift, Enter. And then you can see it's asking you to open it with user account control, like pretty much administrator, as you see that'll do it now this is FSC type that there's all your commands we'll go over that later but you can see here the SFC scan now verify only scan file blah 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 when you want to scan file you type in SFC space scan file and then equals then the file name we won't go over that though I hope you guys aren't you know dumb or anything but like it says here example scan now so we're just going to do that. I'm going to type in SFC space scan now. It could take a while. And um, we'll, we'll have all these screenshots in the um, information above the video in, at chrislink.com. Now I'm going to pause the video here because 5%, blah, blah, blah. Actually better yet, I've got two up. So you can see here it's going 7%. It's a little fast, blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, taking a while. We're just going to X out of that because I've got one up already. Once it's done, it's going to look like this. Now, it says Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. That's a good thing. If that means, if you got that, that's a, that's a real good thing. Now, I can't remember what it says if you've got it bad. Now, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not doing a video to show what it means when it's bad. But if something like that pops up and it doesn't say this, Man, that's like the fifth time Alice in Cleveland just came off on. But anyways, um, if something else comes up and you really don't know what to do or you know if if you're worried about something, you can contact chrislink.com and we'll try to help you out. Or at least we'll explain to you what's wrong. It could be that you just need to get a registry cleaner and it'll fix it. So that's about all there is to this tutorial. If you guys didn't really understand this, um, there's really good information above the video. Now I'm going to do this again. SFC, nothing, will just give you a list of commands. This is if you just want to scan one file, stuff like that, or verify a file. Um, to be honest, just do a scan now. It doesn't hurt to scan your whole computer system files like DLL files, etc. It's not a bad thing to do. Um, so once again, this is just a real quick, short uh, chrislink.com tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'm Chris Link. Have a nice day.